Faith and Furries, an unlikely duo. In 2019, a video titled Hun the Hound Meets Jesus Christ was uploaded to YouTube. A video, the video shows a man wearing a blue dog mask and a plaid robe who hit his head and faints and has a vision of Jesus Christ. The person behind this, the video is a 33-year-old Ohioan man, Hund the Hound, who is both a furry and a Christian. Hund and many other Christian furries believe that having two different identities is not problematic, while some disagree with their opinion. The International Anthropomorphic Research Project a group of multidisciplinary scientists is researching to comprehend the furry fandom better, naming the summary of research fur science. According to fur science, one third of the furries bluntly said that they are either agnostic or atheists. At the same time, a quarter of them identify as Christians. Co-founder of Fur Science and an associate professor of psychology at Bishop's University, Courtney Plant, said, quote, given that most furries are LGBT, this may preclude many from being religious, especially if the religion is at odds with LGBT people. Okay, how do you feel about this, Susanna? You're, you're both anti-religion, but I think you're more anti-furry than your anti-religion which is actually very like you know you're very intolerant as somebody who um doesn't believe in shaming people for their kids yeah i think you make an exception for furry people which is like not very nice <laughs> i've tried to be i've actually thought about it and i've tried to be a lot better about that like genuinely okay. lately yeah. um it is something that is has to be learned, shall we say. <laughs> <laughs> the tolerance of the furry community is something I'm working on learning. Um, but I had to cover this because this is just fascinating to me. Absolutely fascinating. I, you know, I think it's because the furry community itself, quite frankly, already and just off top confuses me. Um, I think, yeah, but then, and then the Ooh. Christian angle is what also confused me because I associate the furry community with being extremely sexual. Like if, if not centered around uh, adult content, shall we say. And so, and I also know that, I don't know if it's the majority, but I know there seems to be an overrepresentation of the LGBT community in the furry community. So given that there are lots of men within this community who fantasize about, um, say, uh, actually, I can't say that on the show. It's way too explicit. <laughs> wait, wait, before you continue, before you continue, um, Reincarnation Entertainment just gifted 10 Atheist Republic memberships. I didn't know you can do that. What? Yeah, so 10 people are now members because of reincarnation. 10 extra people are now members because of Reincarnation Entertainment. Oh my God, seeing... that's incredible. Thank that's you so, so much. Kind. Yeah. Wow. wow. Thank you so much. That's pretty I'm cool. so impressed. <laughs> Everyone use the Atheist Republic. Um, Use the the Atheist Republic emojis to like demonstrate your new membership. That's so cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Shriya, she's using our Cali emote. Oh, that's so cute. Well, thank you, Reincarnation Entertainment. Um, thank you so much. He said, "Oh, thanks. This channel is awesome. Oh, well, thank you for supporting our work." Um, <laughs> anyways, what was I saying? Okay, okay given these... I what, what mm, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. D is confused. She's saying, I don't understand this news. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> it also confused me. Given the fact that the, of, the, of how sexualized a lot of the community is and how LGBT it is, it is it's very unexpected to have an actual Christian presence within the community. I think... Um, I didn't understand it until I was reading this interview with religion news service and they were interviewing Hunt the Hound. And he said, he said, God placed him in the community. 
quote, he knew that me dressing up as a blue dog would get me out of my depression, grow my social skills, and make me the person I am today. Hmm. And you know what? I was like, okay, I I do find it the the need or desire to basically dress up in a mascot's costume as a dog, frankly, incomprehensible to me personally. But if it pulled you out of a depression and helped you make friends, honestly, that makes sense to me. And I hope <laughs> it brings you joy in your life. You know what I mean? Like that softened yeah. my heart. That softened my yeah. heart. I mean, they are part, they're mostly part of the atheist republic, the atheist, no, the atheist community. Okay. So we should be welcoming. Okay. A lot of them are atheists. Okay. We accept atheist furries uh, and atheist republic. Okay. It's the Christian ones that we have to share. <laughs> okay. It's the, do we have Muslim furries? Okay, we will shame them as Yo, well. Yo, good question. Holy Are cow. There any <laughs> wow, imagine somebody being a Muslim furry. They would it... <laughs> is it un-Islamic to be a furry? Would your salah be accepted if you did it in a fursuit? Hmm, 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 Isn't hmm. that a good question? That's the best question you've ever asked you in your entire life. <laughs> <laughs> I need a ruling on this. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I think hmm. when I, one thing that made me kind of sad was that, well, I don't know. Well, okay. So one thing that made me sad is the Christian furries were talking about how they kind of have to keep both sides of themselves like hidden in most parts. Like they can't be their furry self in their Christian community, but then in the furry community, they can't be their Christian self because the community is so if not anti, like, if not secular, like anti-religious. Um, and one thing I thought was interesting is there is an actual organization the, called the Christian Furry Fellowship. Oh my God. Okay. And founded in the late 1990s on internet chat forums, the Christian Furry Fellowship is a membership that views furry fandom as a mission field. So they're like, this is our market to evangelize. In 2010, CFF members who converged, wait, blah, blah, blah. Um, basically, one thing that I thought was kind of surprising, though, is that the Christian Furry Fellowship is basically still sees gay sex as a sin. Wow. So they're okay with furry stuff, but not with gay stuff. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my God. Christianity is a disease. Religion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Christian Furry Fellowship, for its part, does not enforce any worldview related to sex for its casual members. Like many conservative Christians, its members believe that engaging in same sex sexual relationships is wrong. Having homosexual feelings alone is not. Furries who disagree with this stance can still join as long as they abide by the group's rules. Wow. Okay. That was like, I, I, I felt incredulous towards that. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like, how could you be tolerant, but not really? Okay, sure. I know. And I don't <laughs> kind of understand because, okay, it's not the same. I feel like a lot of Christians, fundamentalist Christians, would interpret furry proclivities as like some form of bestiality. And that's clearly condemned in the Bible. Is it? Wait a minute. Actually, never mind. I kind of get it. Homosexuality is condemned in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But bestiality is endorsed. Isn't what it? What are you talking about? Where has it been endorsed? Condemned? Yeah, isn't it like, doesn't it? It's doesn't in Leviticus. Okay, okay, sure. But the Bible also kind of um, has like 18 plus descriptions of, you know, like, I don't know if I can say it on stream, like uses animal genitalia and, eject, you know, ejaculation as a way to describe men, human. Is the, there's this, there's a That's sexy very part different. of the They're okay, comparing okay. the let's say they're comparing the output of a male, shall we say, 
<laughs> to yeah. equivalent of that of a donkey's. So they're making a comparison. And a horse. That's very donkeys different. and horse. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, that, I just, it, I just think like whoever was writing it's a, meta- it. it's a metaphor for the behavior of two cities. So it's not even about people oh, okay. or animals. But in Leviticus, it's condemned explicitly. Okay, okay. I just think whoever was writing that probably was some into into animals. Ah, doorknob head. Thank you for reminding us. Emissions Thanks. of a horse. Correct. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, yeah. He, I think emissions of a horse and also dicks as big of, of a donkey or something like that. I just think like whoever whoever was writing that, if they would, if they had the talent and they lived in modern times, they would be making fur yard. Mm, that's mm-hmm, what i think mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah yeah i saw this story and i was like oh my god we have to talk about this we have yeah. um is there anything in islam that bans uh being a f- Ooh, islam wait a minute islam must be tolerant to furries islam allows you to have sex with a camel or a goat in desperate situations <laughs> right yeah i didn't know this so with an actual camel or a goat or whatever right so oh my goodness. if it so islam if it allows you to do that to animals like it must be okay with like somebody who's dressed up as an animal i think we need furry camels as the islamic whoever is a furry muslim the outfit you pick has to be a camel Okay, just so that. <laughs> Asian no? American is saying that the cat, the cat personas, the ca- if you're yeah. if you're a cat furry, that's fine. If you're oh, yeah, a dog yeah. furry, that's haram. True. You know, you could be a cat furry in for in if you're a Muslim to honor Abu Huraira, the father of cats. And like, I'm just being like this. True. Call yourself. That could be your nickname. You could be a furry cat. And you could, your nickname could be Abu Huraira. That would be Islamic. Fantastic. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Oh my God. Like a very niche reference <laughs> Islamic furry. <Yeah. laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. Yuval is saying, I mean, are you. Um, are you sure about Islam and bestiality reference? I mean, we were told this in school when we were kids. Oh my god! Like, As a child? Yeah, in what? Islam, like in in Islam in school in Iran. Maybe I mean maybe I have to double check, but that was what our religion teacher told us. <laughs> this so, is so crazy. That's way better I... than Catholic school. We don't get to talk <laughs> about stuff like that. <laughs> So, so if it's wrong, I, if it's wrong, I blame it on my religion, Islamic teacher. Okay, uh, but he made it very, he made it very clear that if it's only, it's only allowed when you are like so horny and there's no woman around. Like there's like not mm. like you have to like you just like you can't do anything about it. Like you are like, tra- like uh, off you know on a trade or a traveling. And you're away from your, from your wives and from your slaves, and uh, the goats just be too sexy, or something, or the camel is just looks so good today, and then you just you just gotta do what you gotta do. But like, I don't know if it's like maybe he doesn't know his hadith properly. Like, I should have like as a kid back then, I wasn't used to like asking for references, right? Um, <laughs> So like now I know that I should have been asking. So yeah, Can maybe I see I'll... a citation. <laughs> so, <laughs> so before Wait. we abuse animals, yeah. Is is this person's name Muhammad? Is that how you say this? Uh yeah, Muhammad Ahmed. Yes. Okay, so Muhammad is saying this is Shia propaganda. Stuck for Allah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, you, your sonies don't have that those hadiths, okay? So <laughs> this is why you should join the Shia side. We have more fun on the Shia side. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> if you're a furry and a Muslim, join the Shia side. Sheikh V is saying, the teacher told you about bestiality. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, and we were underage. Like this is like that's so crazy. Like how old? Yeah. Mm. I don't know, maybe like 14 or something. Okay. 
That's a little bit better because I was imagining like a straight up seven year old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, honestly, now we need to go find the Muslim furry community. You've you've yes. like put this idea in my brain. We need to go find them. Yes. Muslim furries, reach out to us. We would like to talk to you. Okay. We just want to talk. And also we just want to talk, yeah. Also, if you are um, somebody who's knowledgeable about Islam, please let us know if you think that being a furry is halal or haram, okay? Because <laughs> I, I can't think Wait. of... Yeah. Gaijin American has the funniest comment, and he's like, and it's the gays we have to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no shaming of the furries, Gaijin American. I like think just, he meant yeah. more towards the bestiality itself. <laughs> okay, we got like, I don't know, Reincarnation Entertainment just gifted 20 other more memberships. 20, gifted 20 Atheist Republic memberships. Are you screwing with me right now? No, I'm not. Another I don't even know what to say. That's insane. How many members we have now? Jesus Christ. Oh What's my God. What's happening? Look, oh and my he's just god. Smiling. And he's just <laughs> smiling. He's just sitting there so smug. Oh my god. Thank you. No, thank, thank you. you. I'm speechless. <laughs> when wow. the stream goes over, I'm gonna check how many members we have now because I could probably add a bunch of emojis, which is super Guys, exciting. Like our our channel membership just like shut through the roof. Like, what the hell? Oh my god. This is amazing. Thank you. Let me let me see actually. Amazing. I wonder. Yeah, we just our channel many... membership just went up by thirty, like four, to this in the last month. That's uh, wow. Oh my god, Imran is saying, "OMG, thank you, Oprah reincarnation." <laughs> like, <laughs> you get a membership. You get a membership. You get a membership. Everyone gets we a membership. We get memberships. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, we should, we should, um, we, we, oh my gosh, I'm, I can't even speak. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank um, you. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.